Did you know that some mouthwashes can increase your blood pressure? And did you know that bacteria in your mouth can determine if you have or gonna have heart disease? I'm Dr. Olga Dolger, board certified pediatric dentist here at Palm Valley Pediatric Dentistry and Orthodontics. Trend is your friend, but is it? Well, let's talk about holistic versus traditional dentistry. Well, new trends are, number one, on holistic side, we say no fluoride. On traditional side, we still advise fluoride. I am in the middle. Fluoride, it is neurotoxin and has some negative effects on the overall body. But the old research we have and know actually advising fluoride and fluoride is the only way we can get calcium ions into that enamel, which is about to have cavity already has cavities. So I wish we discovered something else which works and proved by research. So be careful when you advise no fluoride because we don't know at 100% that anything else works. Second one is mouthwashes. I think the overall idea of rinsing your mouth, not necessarily with mouthwash, is great. After you eat, you can rinse your mouth and then brush your teeth. But new recommendations and new study on holistic and non-holistic side, actually, we are together here. They show that some mouthwashes decrease the good bacteria in your mouth, decrease production of nitric acid. As a result, your blood pressure can go up. That's not a good thing. And actually, we discovered that some bacteria in your mouth can be actually identified also in the plaque of the arteries of your heart. Can you imagine your bacteria in the mouth can end up in your heart? That's actually true and that's reality. So by neglecting your oral health and not following good advice of your dentist, holistic or not, you might end up with heart problems. Also airways. Airways is so new, but it makes sense. Holistic dentistry based on screening patients for airway problems. Traditional dentists, not so much. Traditional dentists do not pay attention as much on airways. They may look at your tonsils, but they might not screen you for signs of airway problems. I'm in the middle. I kind of like the idea of airways more because it makes sense. A lot of times we look at child's mouth and we see flat teeth. They grind their teeth severely. And then you look further down and you see big tonsils and they look under the tongue and you see tongue tie. So there is new studies but they're emerging. There is not as many good evidence yet, but I think it's gonna be the future because it's all interrelated here. So if your tongue cannot rest on the palate of your mouth and tie and sit on the floor of the mouth, your child tend to open the mouth when they sleep. When you do mouth breathing, what happens? you actually filter air through your mouth. But your mouth is designed for eating and your nose is designed for breathing. So your tonsils might increase because of the mouth breathing. It's a confirmed fact. So airways are extremely important. Me as a dentist, we can screen for that. So holistic or not, it's a good trend and I think it has a great future. Metal fillings. When I was in dental school, we did metal fillings all the time. They were durable material, excellent choices. But guess what? They are prohibited in Europe. They have additional filtration system in water because guess what? They have mercury. Bonded or not, I don't want personally to put a mercury filling into my child's mouth, no matter how durable it is. There's alternatives. So kind of on a holistic side on that. No metal fillings, and we don't even have metal fillings in my practice at all. Another one, root canals. Holistic dentists advise against root canal. They think that if root canal is done, it's a dead tooth, and then you have chronic infection, and that chronic infection affects your overall body. So the choice they make is extraction in placing a metal screw, which is an implant. My opinion, I'm on traditional side on this one. If I have to do root canal for whatever reason, I would prefer root canal. I don't want my front teeth to be pulled and have a metal screw embedded into my bone, no matter how well that metal integrates. So my tooth, I think, is more biological to my body than metal. 
So I am on the side with root canals. If it's properly done by board certified and the dentist under a special microscope and absolutely there is no evidence of chronic infection, it's safe and good to have the root treated with root canal instead of extraction. So I almost feel like you should not pull teeth just because they need root canal. Did you have any experiences with this whole trendy confusion about fluoride, no fluoride, root canal, no root canal, holistic, traditional? Share with me. I want to know how do you feel about it. I definitely want to talk about it more. Follow me and like my videos if you want to see more. And remember, smile is always in style. See you next time here at Palm Valley Pediatric Dentistry and Orthodontics. Goodbye.